Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these festive earrings. Please subscribe with the bell, also like, share and comment and support me as members and in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads, white and golden. I'm also using earring findings. This is Nymon Nylon thread that is 0.3 mm or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12, whatever you have. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 of those beautiful white beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling. And then I want to make one more knot. Okay, now I have this beautiful circle of beads here and I'm going through two white beads in this direction. And I take two whites, go back through these two, back in circle. Then I'm going in the next two white beads. I take two, go back through these two and now guys, if you want to save time, go also through the following two beads. In this way, you save one movement. Okay. Now you see I have something like a loop between the two beads in the inner circle and the two beads that I'm adding. Then I'm in the right position to add two more beads. And again, I go through four just to save time. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now as I finish this row, I want to go through one of the newly added white beads and in this way I'm changing direction guys. You see I'm exiting out of this white bead. And uh, what I want to do next is to flip my work because I prefer to go in the other direction as I'm right handed. I prefer to go like this, but you could do it in the opposite direction if it's easier for you. Now I need another two white beads and I'm going in the following white. In this way guys I'm forming the so-called herringbone stitch here. And I take one golden, go in the next white that's on my way. Again, two white beads, go in the following white, forming the herringbone part of my work. One golden. Two whites. And I will continue this one golden, two whites until the end of this row.
and now pay attention here guys i should go here through the white bead that is closer to the center of my work don't make the mistake to go through the following one because it won't look good sometimes beginners make this mistake i was doing it in the beginning so now i'm going through this white bead and i will continue adding white beads okay i continue this herringbone part here if you're not familiar with it it's really easy that is what it is then i take two golden beads this time go in the next white two white beads go in the following white two goldens go in the next white again and again two whites two golden okay guys and i will continue this three more times and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i need two golden beads and what i want to do is to go through the second white counting from the center and i go in the following okay then in my next step i'm going through the next white bead two white beads go in the following white and i'm sure you could guess what i'm adding here it is three golden beads and i go in the next white then two whites go in the following white continue with the herringbone part here that I have fixing it a little bit adding three goldens and then again two whites and three golden beads and because it repeats until the end i will continue and meet you here guys okay my friends and here are the last three golden beads and i'm going through the third white counting from the center here is the third one one two three and after that i'm going through the following bead and here guys i want to add five white beads okay five and i'm going through the white one through two whites in this direction and my goal guys is to go in the next golden bead then i take three golden and three white beads and as i'm exiting from this first one i'm going in the second one then i'm going through the three whites that i have here I take three golden beads and go in the third golden that's on my way then I skip it and go through these three beads that I have then I take three golden beads and I go through these three beads in this direction then i go through all of the three 
goldens here. After that, I want to exit through the following two white beads from the center to the outside. Okay, and I take five white beads, go back through these two and through the following golden. If you can in one movement, in, if not in two, the way it's easier for you. Take three golden, three white, go in the next golden. Then flip it the right way so the golden will be to the center of my work. And go through these three white beads. Three golden. Go in the next golden. And after that go through the following three golden beads and three again turn it in this direction to be easier and go through all of those three beads and if you can also through the following two whites if you can do this in one movement if not in two movements the way it's easier for you okay and i continue the same way five white beads aim for the first golden three golden three white next golden After I go through the three whites, I take three goldens, skip the golden that I'm exiting out of and go through the following three goldens. Take three. Go through the next three. and through as many beads in this direction to aim for the next white bead here at the end okay guys and i think you got the idea and you could do this until the end if not just rewind the video because the steps are the same and repeat them from this side and i'll meet you okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row now I'm doing the same thing, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Then I want to go through all of those neighbor white beads. What I want to do in this step is to flip my work like this. And what I want to do is to take 11 white beads and after that I go through one of those white beads that I have here and pull. Okay. Then I go in the neighbor white one from the center to the outside. Okay, then again I take 11, I go here in this white, and I pull, then I go in the following white, neighbor white, from the center to the outside. 
and I take 11 white beads go here in this white pull and go in the neighbor white from the center to the outside okay guys and I think you got the idea and you could continue this until the end and I'll meet you and here I am guys where I'm adding my last 11 beads from this row now what I want to do is to turn my work in this direction then again I go in the neighbor white bead and my goal guys is to exit through this white that is sticking out okay I'm exiting in this direction now again I prefer to flip my work like this because it's easier for me and I want to take guys 15 golden beads you see 15 of them and I go in the following white bead okay then I take 15 beads again and I go in the following white and now guys you could continue adding 15 until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I need to add my last beads from this row and now guys if your work feels stuffed just go around the edges reinforcing it another trick that you could do is to put clear nail polish or clear crafting glue at the back of your work to make it stronger you could also use a little bit thicker thread or you could use fire line as well for your work to make it stronger and another trick is to dip it in sugary water like in crocket ink and make your thread stronger okay now I will reinforce it and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and after I reinforced my work several times here I am and I want to exit through the eight golden bead counting from this edge here one two three four five six seven eight and this is the middle one and now I'm taking a golden bead my earring finding and a, and a golden bead and I'm going back in circle through this bead here and I'm going to reinforce this joint here and in my next step guys I'm going in this direction I want to make a knot and cut my thread and I choose to make it here at this point making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made pulling then going through some beads in this direction and I'm cutting this tail thread okay guys and now my elegant holiday flowers seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't also like share and comment and in this way 
you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it, check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.